He, he needs help. Mentally, he needs help. He's at a breaking point. He's lost. Plus, a man armed and making threats. We determined that we couldn't wait. He had to come off the streets right now. That man accused of threatening to blow up the local OSHA office, all because of the COVID vaccine mandate. News 4's Austin Brissett is live tonight for us. Austin. Well, Jolene, Kevin, 53-year-old James Scott Moore is now in custody in the Oklahoma County Detention Center here behind me. Now, we spoke to his ex-wife earlier this afternoon who says he had a psychological breakdown. We know firsthand what domestic terrorism looks like. Um, and that's how this would fall as a domestic terrorist. Thursday afternoon, News 4 watched as 53-year-old James Moore was transported from the Dell City Police Station to the Oklahoma County Jail after allegedly threatening to blow up a local occupational safety and health administration office. His reasoning for doing this was um, he has a, a problem with the um, OSHA implementing um, for employers either requiring a vaccine or requiring the wearing of facial coverings. His ex-wife standing next to us as well in shock at what was happening. He, he needs help. Mentally, he needs help. He's at a breaking point. He's lost. Bradley Rule with Dell City Police says they arrested him Wednesday night after receiving a call about the threats that afternoon. The, the threat was very specific that he was going to rent a truck and fill it full of gasoline, pull it up in front of the building, detonate it, and then take his own life. We determined that we couldn't wait. He had to come off the streets right now. Adding that when they arrived at his home, they found multiple guns inside and two pistols on him, alleging that Moore even tried to take all the money out of his bank account to implement the plan. This individual is very specific on how he planned to carry out this uh, and, and execute his plan. He has some mental issues, and I guess yesterday was the breaking point. Moore's ex-wife, who didn't want her face on camera, saying they were married for 30 years and recently divorced. Adding that before this, he was never in trouble for anything more than a busted taillight. I was in shock. Adding that he always had an anti-government mentality. And after COVID hit, it pushed him over the edge. I don't understand. It was a, it's a mental health issue. It really is. And I, again, I've been trying to work for two years to get help, and it's very hard. Now, we were told that Moore did decline to interview with detectives after he was arrested, and we were told that he is being charged at the state level right now. Authorities say they do plan to turn over their investigation to the feds as soon as they're done. At the Oklahoma County Detention Center, Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4.